Hello and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Google Business Profile. You may remember Google Business Profile as Google My Business, but Google has changed the name. And I'll explain to you later the reasoning behind this change. We're going to be talking about what is Google Business Profile, what do you need to know about it, how do you use Google Business Profile as a small business, Yep, and we're going to discuss many other topics in relation to this as well. But before we start, let me introduce myself. I am Mark Kempman. I am your digital navigator for this video. If you like the video, click the like button. And if you want to subscribe to our, um, our channel, click the subscribe button below and you will get lots and lots of access to more videos and get notifications about when we publish new videos. So, Let's dig straight into it. Let me give you some facts about Google, which will tell you, which will show you that you cannot afford to miss out on what Google has to offer you. Did you know that Google was visited 89.3 billion times in the past month only? Yeah, Google holds over 90% market share in the search engine market. Google processes 99% thousand searches every second, which makes that a total of 8.5 billion searches every day. Yeah, also remember 63% of those searches are done on a mobile phone. Now Google Maps is a key part of your Google business profile. Did you know that there are over 5 billion downloads of the Google Maps app? And as a Fin to finalize these numbers, yeah, Google generated $146.92 billion in advertising revenue in 2020. So, do I need to convince you any further that Google has to be center stage of your marketing efforts? Let's talk how you can do this when you are a local small business. So, what are we going to be talking about? We will talk about what is Google Business Profile? How can you use Google Business Profile for your local marketing? Yeah, how do you get started with Google Business Profile? How can you use your Google Business Profile for your search engine optimization to get a higher ranking in your Google search engine results? And I'll finish off with a few pros and cons of the um, Google Business Profile. So are you ready? Let's first talk about what is Google Business Profile. It used to be called Google My Business. Google has renamed Google My Business to Google Business Profile to make it more simple, yeah, to bring more of the business profile management functions out of the Google My Business app directly into Google Search and the Google Map. Yep, so now the history of the name, it's currently called Google Business Profile. You may remember Google My Business, before that it was Google Places, before that it was Google Plus Local, remember those good old days, and when it officially started, it was just Google Local. But to keep things simple, it has now been renamed as Google Business Profile, that you can access through the Google Search or through Google Maps. So, how would you define it? Google Business Profile is a tool that enables you to manage and optimize your business profile on Google. Yeah, so you can create a free business profile on Google for your shop or your service area. So you can turn people who find you on Google Search and on Google Maps into new customers. And once you've created your Google business profile, you can then personalize it with photos, with offers, with posts, and many other things. And later in this presentation, I will show you how to do all this. So your business profile is Google's term for your Google business listing. Yeah, they appear in Google Maps and in the local results of Google Search. And that's very important. You can access it through Google Maps and Google Search in the local search results. And you can also see it on the right side of the search engine results page. So let me show you an example. 
if I open up a new frame and I search for Indian restaurant, yep, then here you see the search results. Yep, you see restaurants and here you see a map where you can find those places. Yeah, so that is the first place where your restaurant will show up. Yes, yeah, so if I go and click on one of the restaurants, I can get more details of different restaurants, but also more details about the restaurant that I picked. Yeah, and this is what you specify in Google My Business Profile. So I could also access them through the map. Yeah, so if I click on that, that opens up the same window with more details about the restaurant as specified in Google Business Profile. Now what is all in there? I'll share that with you in a minute. So that is the power of Google Business Profile. So how can you use this for your local marketing? Why is it good to use it to set up your business profile? Google has reported that 46% of all searches done on Google have a local intent. And that business location is the main piece of information sought by local searchers. Yeah, so it's the easiest way and the fastest way for you to show up in the search feed. So Google Business Profile gives you the ability to incorporate your search engine results into your marketing. And that is a huge advantage for local businesses. It's not just an ordinary business listing, but it's a robust tool that gives you benefits from appearing in the Google search results. So if I would summarize the benefits of Google Business Profile, they are as follows. They will give you customer engagement, they will help you highlighting your business in Google, you can gain insights from the people that visit your website, and you can optimize your online presence for local SEO. So let's dive into these a little bit deeper. Let's start with the customer engagement. So through Google Business Profile, customers and prospects can contact you. And in your business profile, you can specify your telephone number, your address and directions to your business. So people can contact you, they can find you and they can engage with you. Say for example, a potential lead comes across your business in the search results, but he wants something special. So how will he reach out to you directly from the search list? Google Business Profile has a messaging feature that lets you directly chat with potential customers who will find your profile on the search results page. It enables you to quickly answer questions in real time and help your current and potential customers. Google gives you the option to activate this. Yes, yeah, so when you activate it, users visiting your page will see a clickable message icon. On top of that, they can call you or you can add posts to your business profile to promote special offers or events and updates to keep your customers in the loop. You can also reply to public customer reviews to build trust with new returning customers. And of course, you can post answers to frequently asked questions by your customers. The second advantage is that Google Business Profile offers you the opportunity to highlight your business. Yeah, so it gives you a ton of opportunities to specify a lot of things about your business. When you sign up and sign in, you get to your dashboard and that's where you can add items like showcasing what makes your store special, show photos of your latest products and your store to stand out to customers who find your profile. Yeah, you show whether you offer options like a pickup or a delivery. You can give people who find you online a warm welcome with posts about discounts, new products, upcoming events. So lots of things that you can highlight about your business. Again, let me show you an example. If I go to Google and I search, for instance, for Disney Paris, 
Yeah, you will see I find, or let's say Disneyland, Paris. Yeah, so when I click here on Disneyland Paris, then here I get all the details. I can see the description, I can see the address, the rights that you can do, the hours of opening, you can see who is owned by, you see events that they have, there's questions and answers, there's reviews, yep, and there's more information, there's links to social media, so lots of stuff that you can find here as long as you specify that all on your dashboard when you highlight your business. So the third benefit is that you can gain a lot of insights with people or from people that visit your um, and that find you on Google. Yeah, so you can gain data about your target market and your local search performance. You can track your performance over a given time period and it will give you insights how people interact with your business on Google. You can check how often your profile has been viewed. You can use profile views insights to track how popular your business is with current and potential customers. Yeah, now obviously only the owner um, of the business profile can view the profile insights. You will get metrics like the queries people used to find your business, the number of unique visitors to your profile, number of unique customers who request directions to your business, the number of clicks on the call to action button on your business profile, number of clicks on the website link, number of unique conversations through messages, yeah, number of completed bookings by customers, a summary of all your interactions, number of views on products over a selected period, and if you are a restaurant, you can get food orders placed for pickup or delivery, and you get a number of clicks on the menu content per user per day. So you gain a lot of knowledge about who, what, and when people are accessing and finding you on, the, on Google. And finally, one of the biggest advantages that you can get with Google Business Profile is that it improves your local search rankings, leading to a higher visibility of your business on the web. So when you search for a product or service on Google, the first three listings are usually Google Ads, yeah, followed by a map with the local three-pack, as we call this. And then you will see the organic search results. So let's show you an example of this local three-pack on Google. If I go to search and I search for shoe shop near me, yeah, I'm getting ads. Yeah, that's the first part. And then I'm getting three places. And here is your Google three pack, your local three pack with the map. And then I have the organic search results. Yes, so one of the biggest benefits, and then I get the search results. So for local businesses prior to this local pack, yeah, there were two main ways to show up on the first page of Google through local pay-per-click and through local SEO. Now with the addition of this Google local pack, you now have three potential ways that you could show up on the first page of Google for relevant local searches. And that's something that cannot be ignored. Now, what is this local three pack? It consists of the top three local businesses based on the searcher's location. Yeah, the best part of it is that customers now end up at your shop's front without even having to visit your websites. So remember, this used to be a seven pack and it's now limited to only three local listings. Hence the title, the local three pack. Now, many, many businesses have been trying different SEO tricks to get into this special category of three listings. Yeah, but what most of them don't know is that by creating a Google business profile listing, you can significantly increase the chances 
of making it onto this list. Now there's more that you can do to make it in this three pack. It's important to get reviews on your Google My Business profile. Yeah, so that helps you increase the chances of showing up in this local pack. And it's also good for your reputation, which is very important for your business. And Google will reward you for that with giving you higher search rankings. And additionally, all the SEO rules and guidelines that apply to standard search engine optimization, they apply to your local listing as well. So think about your keywords, your website SEO, getting backlinks. These will all contribute to your local search listing and whether or not you will appear in the three pack. Now also consider that paid advertising can help you in getting your business listed here. Yeah, through local search ads on Google, there is an opportunity for your business to serve a local pay-per-click ad in the three pack. Yep, and remember just a few tips in order to show up in the Google three pack with your pay-per-click ads. There's a few steps that you need to take. Yeah, enable local extensions or location extensions as we call them in Google ads. Bid the location and use, lo sorry, bid by location and use location targeting and optimize your keywords to include your location as well. So having your business appear in the local three pack can help you tap into potential revenue opportunities as Google not only shows customers your business on Google Maps, but it also places it before organic search results. And let's look at the final topic before we go into a demo of Google Business Profile. Let's look at a bit more detail about how Google Business Profile can help you with your SEO and what you need to do to optimize it for SEO. There are three aspects in using Google Business Profile for SEO. You need to target your information by including your SEO keywords relevant to your business. You need to make sure you maintain information quality by ensuring all information is accurate, consistent and correct. And you need to build trust by engaging with your customers. So to achieve this, here is what you need to do. You need to verify your business. You need to fill out your profile completely. You need to make sure your profile information is and stays accurate. You must ensure that your NAP, name, address, place, is consistent across the web, which is very important. Yeah, your address is unique across all your places where you are on the web. You pick the most relevant categories for your business. Make sure that your pictures, your photos are of the highest quality. Focus on getting reviews. Create posts on your business profile to drive engagement with your customers. And when customers ask questions on your business profile, make sure you answer those questions. Yeah, here you see the importance when you fill in all the data of the various fields. You see the most important yeah, there is name, address, phone number, website link. But don't forget the, all the other items as well. So for determining your local ranking, Google takes three factors into consideration. There's the relevance of your listing, is how well your business matches the user's search intent. And to increase the chances that your local business appears in the search results, you should feed Google with as much information as possible. Google will also look at the distance. Yeah, so the distance refers to how close your business location is to the location of the user who searches. And finally, prominence. Yeah, Google determines your local ranking by checking out how well known your business is and whether or not you have a good reputation. And to influence this reputation, 
you have off-site links and articles related to your business, they can really contribute to building your reputation online. So now that you've got all the details about Google Business Profile, let's have a look at how you set it up. And I'm going to show you how to sign into your Google Business account, how you can add your business, how you can enter your location, how you can fill in your contact information. I tell you about the process of verifying your business and then finally how you can customize your profile. So let's have a look at Google Business Profile. If I go to the Google Business Profile website, then I just go there by searching for Google Business Profile and click on the link that I see on the search results and then I get to this page. Yeah, a short summary of what your free business profile is all about, how you can access your dashboard if you've got a business profile, you see some benefits, free, easy, personalized, and then it gives you all the benefits that you get from having your business profile on Google. Yes, so that is one area where you can access, of course, your Google business profile. Now, the other area where you can access your Google business profile is to go to Google Maps. So if I go to Google Maps and I click here on Google Maps, this takes me to Google Maps. If I now want to go, for instance, to register my own business on Google Business Profile, let me show you how to do that. I can be on Google Maps, I can go to the place that I want to, um, to register, yeah, so, and I want that actually on Google Maps, so I don't want that here. I want to stay on Google Maps, so let's say Isis Lake South Cerny. There is where I have a lodge that I rent out. And if I go zoom in on that, yeah, and then here I can see it is this lodge. Yeah, and currently there's nothing on there. You see this house has no business profile. This one has. Yes, so this one has as well. So how can I register this lodge on Google Business Profile? Very simple, I can register it by right clicking on it. Yep, so I can get directions, what's here. I can say add your business. <clears throat> so if I click here on add your business, guess where that takes me? It takes me to Google Business Profile, and I'm now going into the setup under my Google account. Yeah, I'm going to the setup on Google My Business for this place. So the place name is Isis97 uh, Lodge. Okay, so I click enter, and I'm going to click continue. Now it talks to me, what is this place about? What kind of business type? Is it an online retail? Is it a local store or is it a service business? Let's say it is a local store. Customers can visit the business in person. Click on that and it takes me to the next screen. Yeah, so I'm going to go for an add a, enter a business category. There's a whole load of uh, categories here. I can say just a lodge or I can say, um, what is it, a, um, a resort. Let's see if I can do that. A resort hotel yeah, or a resort place. I can just say a holiday sort of a home. Yeah, so let's call it a holiday home. And I'm going to click next. Now it wants the business address. So the country in this case is not Malaysia, because that's where I am at the moment. So it takes my default address, it's in the United Kingdom. The street address is Isis Lake. And then it is, I need to put the address, 97 Isis Lake, Spine Road East. 
east. <coughs> yeah, the post town is South Cerny, postcode GL75LT. So Spine Road East, which is the watermarks. Spine Road East. I don't mind to share this data with you because it's going to be public anyway, because people will be able to find this on the internet. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to click next. <clears throat> what contact details do I want to show my customers? I want to show them the phone number and that could be 07545 and then 328999 is United Kingdom and I can also say I'm going to skip this step actually for now I'm going to skip this step. Put your business on the map, yes? Start connecting with your customers across Google all in one place. So here are the details that you've learned earlier in today's presentation. Get discovered, respond to review, manage your business details. Yep, and now I'm gonna click, uh, do I want to get tips and alerts? I'm not interested in that, I just click continue. And here I am in my dashboard. Now. Here comes the process of verification, which is an important element of Google Business Profile. Yeah, so we talked a bit about businesses using it for spam purposes. Yeah, so the verification is very important for Google. There are various ways that you can get verification. Google has made it fairly simple. You can verify through a, um, through a phone number. You can also verify by getting a card sent to your physical business address. Your listing will not show on Google until you have verified your business. Okay, but for now I'm going to click next and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna click verify later because I don't want to do the verification yet. So now I can add business hours. I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, remember we talked about messaging. I'm gonna skip the messaging. And now I can add photos of my business. So let's grab a photo from the internet. Yep, so let's say Isis Lake South Cerny. And I'm gonna go to images. So here is the park where you see images. So I am going to uh, take any random image. Let's say we'll take this image. Yep, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click save image as, and I'm going to do ISIS Lodge 01. All right, so now I'm gonna complete my profile. I'm gonna add a photo. I'm going to select photo from the computer. I'm going to YouTube and then desktop. And here is the ISIS Lodge. Yep, there's the photo and I can obviously add a lot more photos. There's the next. Do I want to start advertising on Google Ads? I can actually claim a 400 pounds free advertising credit. Of course, that is really good what they do here just to get you to start using advertising. And then get a customer domain name for a website. I haven't got a website yet, but I'm not interested in that at the moment. Yeah, so remember your edits will be visible once you're verified. I, so my listing will not be visible yet, but here is basically my listing list, business listing as it stands at the moment, but it is not publicly visible. But at least I have set up my business profile. Yeah, so now I'm in my dashboard in Google, um, my business, I had to go into a separate app for this, but now I can actually edit it all through the search. So that is very useful. So here is edit profile, read reviews, read the messages, uh, add photos. What is the performance? Do we want to go advertising? All the things we discussed in our earlier session. So edit profile 
And here I can get information about contact information, location information, hours of opening, my business name of my lodge, the opening date, contact information. Yes, yeah, so location I can specify here. So all the details that I need, and if I do this properly, is where it will show up in Google. And if I really got my reputation sorted and everything, I may show up in the Google 3 pack as well. So that is the process of setting up your Google business profile. So let's now look at an existing business profile. Let's switch my account. So I'm going to sign out of this account and I'm going to sign in again into my own account. So now I'm in my own Google account and I'm going to, I'm switching the Chrome. I say, no, just leave it as it is. Okay, well, we can do that. Yeah, so now I'm in my Google Chrome, my, my personal account, and I'm going to show you an existing um, Google business profile that I have, which is for a website, for a, another house in Marrakesh, which is Riyadh Farasha. Yeah, so you see here, it is already on Google My Business, or sorry, it's already on Google Business Profile, but I haven't really populated it yet with information. Okay, so here you can see I can access this through the Google search to manage my profile. Yep, so I can edit a profile, I can read the reviews, all the things that I want to do. I can add an update, I can see the photos. Yep, so here I have access to it. And then here you see the side panel with a summary of all the things that you've done. Okay, I could also access this through Google Maps. Again, if I go to Google Maps, and I search in Google Maps for Riyadh Farasha, yeah, here, here it is, Riyadh Farasha, Der Prachala, it will take me, here's the basic details, in Google Maps, yeah, and it will take me here to Riyadh Farasha but it is empty. I haven't added any information in it yet. So I can now click here on manage my business profile, or I can see where um, the, uh, all the details that I have added so far. I get some basic data. So 55 people viewed it this month, Oops, and without actually having done any effort in optimizing it or populating it with information. So if I here click on manage your business profile, that takes me back to the Google search screen where I can add all the data. So let's add a photo. I can click here for add a photo or I can click here to add a photo. I'm clicking here, add a photo. I'm doing a photo, click here and then select photo or video. And that is from the YouTube desktop. It's here, Farasha01 is the photo that I'm going to add. <clears throat> yep, so now I can see the photo. Let's see if I can do, here you see the photo. Got it. Yeah, and of course I can add a lot more. I can do a logo, a cover, a video, photo of the interior. Here's the photo that I've done so far. So I can now go back to my business profile. Yeah, I think it will take a bit of time before the photo shows up on the, uh, on the profile. Yeah, so click add photo. Yeah, so the photos don't show up yet. Yeah, but that's how you can optimize your profile, making sure all the information is relevant. Yep, so that is basically all there is to managing your profile on, uh, on Google Business Profile. So remember, you can access it directly by searching for your business name in Google Search, or you can exit it, edit, um, access it directly by entering 
is for searching for your business name on Google Maps. Both show the, uh, the results and then they also give you access to your dashboard where you can add all the information that needs to be added. Yeah, performance, we talked about that as well. Yeah. So here you can check by month. You can see I've, uh, I've started the, um, the created the, pro, the, the business profile sort of the beginning of October. So here you can see, I can check from October to December, apply. So I see I had 18 business profile interactions. I can check people that called me, people that messaged me, the directions, people that look at website clicks, booking clicks. So you can get a lot of information of people that visited your business profile. <clears throat> okay, so that concludes the demo of the uh, Google Business Profile. And now let's go back to the slides to give you a summary of the Google Business Profile and the positives and the negatives of it. Okay, hope you found that useful. So let's finish today's presentation with a few more facts about the pros and the cons of your Google Business Profile. We talked about all the pros, all the benefits that you can get. Yeah, and to summarize, Google Business Profile can help you with reaching your customers. It can help you responding to customer interests. It can help you get, respond to customer feedbacks. Yep, and you can get into engagement with your customers. And most important of all, it can help you in a very easy way to get a presence on Google search results page without actually having a website. Yes, so it is an extremely powerful tool and it's a free tool for your business to get yourself an online presence where your customers can find you and where they can engage with you. But there are some cons as well. Yeah, I have to think hard about cons but as most things in digital marketing, one con you could say, yeah, it takes time. Yeah, of course you need to set up your business profile. Yeah, and it takes time to do that. It takes time to maintain this. But I don't see this a considerable serious drawback. Because people that are prepared to put the time and effort into it, they will be rewarded accordingly. One potential negative of Google Business Profile can be that fake businesses can use it as well because it's a free service. Yeah, and although you do, there is a verification process in the Google uh, Business Profile, yeah, there may be businesses who take advantage of this, um, of this free service. Yeah, so anyone can realistically set up a profile to promote their business. So there was an example a few years ago that fake locksmiths were committing fraud through local listings on Google Business Profile with bogus profiles. So while the majority of the profiles are genuine businesses trying to promote themselves in a very competitive world, there are some to see this as a feature and an opportunity for scams. Yeah, so people believe that reviews, photos and verifying a business by mail would be enough to deter scammers. However, in this age of fake news as well as misleading e-commerce reviews, Google must take action to constantly optimize their verification process of Google Business Profile. So that's a wrap, a short introduction to Google Business Profile. And if you want to know more, check out all the other Simply Learn courses. And if you like this video, click the like button or the share button. And of course, click the subscribe button below if you want to subscribe to our channel. So you can join our existing learner community on YouTube. That's it from me now, and I see you at the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.